This is the current state of the rail line linking Nigeria's south to the north. It's a narrow gauge rail line with old and worn out coaches that are far too insufficient and always overloaded. Travel time on the train is only better imagined. This is basically what the $6.68 billion rail contract is expected to transform. It's a big boost to our economy from so many perspectives. One, the, the last time we actually had new rails built in Nigeria was 1927. Yes, yeah, that was, as, as, that was how, how bad it was. What will happen is that if this is planned well, it could become a, con a continuous development corridor. So not just a transport corridor, but a development corridor. Because what you find is that you will dot the whole, all the capital cities in the trajectory, would have industrial parks. Connecting Nigeria's north to Lagos, the country's commercial hub, by standard gauge rail line will certainly boost commercial activities in the country and improve inter-regional commerce. It will also massively reduce the pressure on Nigerian roads and quicken the movement of goods and cargoes from the north to the south of the country and vice versa. Transport accounts for almost 20% or more of the input cost for industrial production. Now, that means that when you crack it with having long rail distance, the long distance uh, rail system, it reduces the overall cost of production. If you try to move agricultural produce from anywhere in the north to anywhere in the south, the cost doubles. The cost of the goods doubles just because of the transportation. And then, of course, you know, if it's going by road, you have petrol costs, you have, you know, it's very expensive. No one doubts the impact the new rail line would have on the Nigerian economy. Rather, what people are worried about is whether the government would be able to ensure the completion of the project within the given time frame of two and three years. Dejabatmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.